Hello guys, it's Rackman. man. Welcome back to another post-match reaction, man. So today we're going to be talking about Liverpool versus... Uh, sorry, Jank versus Liverpool, man. Yank. Is it Jank or Yank? Yank versus Liverpool in the 2019-20 Champions League, man. Uh, this game ended in a... 4-1 win for Liverpool, man. Oxley and Chamberlain, bro. He's back, bro. Scoring two goals, man. Two wonderful goals. Uh, scoring early in the game, man. Two minutes in the game, we're able to score to pretty much put the game in Liverpool favor. Um, Yank Jank scored an equalizer, bro. The captain, what's his name? The captain, uh, uh, Samata. He scored an equalizer with an edit, bro. And the referee said it was offside, man. No, the referee said it was a foul. That was a clear goal, man. A clear, beautiful header. And that really changed the game, though. Like, I think if the referee had allowed that, as they should have allowed it, it would have been, um, it would have been one-one, man. And the game could have went either way. But that game kind of, that kind of messed uh, Jenk up, man. In my opinion, uh, but I think they got robbed right there. I'm not sure if they would have continued to go on and win the game, man. But they would have been at least back in the game early in the game, man. So that, I, I think the referee messed up, man. I think the referee was favoring Liverpool in that aspect, man. But you cannot take away our great Liverpool look out there today. Their midfield was sorry, bro. Axel Chamberlain, Naby Keita, and Fabinho, man. That's the only midfield I want to see Liverpool, Liverpool use, or even Milner in there, or yeah. Don't put freaking, what's his name, man? Do not put Anderson in there, bro. Anderson is trash, in my opinion. Anderson is trash. Ronaldo is also good in the midfield, too, man. Everybody but um, Anderson, in my opinion. But great win for Liverpool, man. They're back in the race, bro, for the, um, uh, for it to come out, to, to at least go to the next round. Right now, they're sitting in second place, uh, one point behind group leaders, Napoli. Napoli right now have seven points, uh, two wins and one draw. While Liverpool has um, two wins and, and one loss, man. And they're looking good right now. Third place is... Who's in third place? Um, Salzburg is in third place. And uh, Cenk is in last place, man. But uh, great result for for Liverpool, man. Sane and Mala linking... Sane and Mane linking up. Salah and Mane linking up, man. I don't know why I said that three times. But yeah, those two guys linking up uh, for goal and assist, man. So good to see that their friendship is there. And uh, pretty much whatever the the, the, um, the media and uh, some haters, whatever they was trying to um, say, these guys don't really get along. It's all false, man. Because, you know, they help each other out, man. They've been doing this for a while and they're looking good right now. Liverpool team is just scary, in my opinion. It's just a scary team, in my opinion, bro. Like, I'll never want to play against this team ever, bro. Like, they have so many weapons. And the thing with this Liverpool team, they have so many players that could step up, man. Athlan Chamberlain. When it was at Arsenal, bro, he, he was he was levels, bro. He was it was a quality play, man. The only thing that really old Oxlade Chamberlain back is injuries, man. I think once he's um above those injuries, bro, he's definitely gonna be a, a star player, in my opinion. Like when he was at Arsenal, it was better, way better than Gonarby. You see how Gonarby is right now. If Oxlade Chamberlain could get it fit and stay fit, bro, he could be a worldy, in my personal opinion. He could be back in the English national team. But yeah, man, great game overall, man. Um, Allison, bro, you know he was he, he had a very good game, man. Good to see him back. Um, he come out with some very good save, man. Off his line very fast. Uh, distribute the ball very well too, man. So he, he's been a very good. He's definitely the, the best goalkeeper in the world, man. And he's proved it. He was very solid today. Uh, you could feel, you could see the disappointment in him when um, when uh, Jenk scored that uh, the, the constellation goal, like in the. 88 minute bro with us uh, Stefan uh, Odoi man he, that was a good goal by them pretty much stripped the world greatest defender Lafren <laughs> they stripped him off the ball and we're able to um, create that man made that happen but solid goal was fantastic um, Oxlade Chamberlain second goal was fantastic Mane goal was very good too man so it was some quality goal scoring in this game man Liverpool passed the ball very well very good on the wing very good in in the 18 bro like the final third they had a product man they had product and it, it was forcing Jenk to make some uh, Jenk goalkeeper, uh, Kuku to make some great save, man. So um, in total, bro, Liverpool had like seven shots on target out of seventeen shots in total, man. So great win for Liverpool as always, man. Uh, Aston Chamberlain, bro, man after freaking match, man, man after match, man. Salah did very good. Salah had a goal, he had assist. Mane had a goal. Uh, Firmino had a goal, man. Uh, Lovren, pretty much, he was the weakest player out there for Liverpool. Uh, Allison did very well. Robertson, man, Robertson. Um, I believe he has he had the assist in the last game, man. But he hasn't really impressed me as how he did last year, bro. Like I think the hype got to him or something like that. He was just poor overall. Eventually got substituted off. 
uh, for um, he got substituted off in the 63rd minute for Joseph Gomez. Joseph Gomez came in, man, didn't really make a, too much of an impact, man, but it did the job. Picked up a yellow card, but it is what it is. Origi and Ronaldo came on, didn't really do anything um that would make a big impact to the game they came on origi came on with like 60 minutes ago while um while uh origi came on uh sorry Ronaldo came on in the 74 minute and origi came on at 80 minute man so um they didn't really have a, a lot of time to make uh, like a big impact on the game but they came in and they did their little part um who else out there man um van dyke did very good he, you know it's van dyke bro one of the, the world great world best defender in my opinion uh, central defender in my opinion um Lovren was very poor man that hero led to that only constellation goal uh uh allison was pissed bro he was so upset about that one he saw stomping the ground like ah but it is what it, it is what it is man milner bro did very well very good um did all right as the right back as i said man you can put milner anywhere you want to put him and he's definitely going to perform bro uh, he's not no freaking alex arnold on the under the, as a right wing back but like he, he's he's freaking James Miller, bro. He, he does the work. Uh, Nabi Keita, very good game, man. His passing was just fantastic, bro. This guy could pass the freaking ball, bro. His passing was very good. Very good tackles. He was just like all over the place, man. So fantastic game. He was wrecking Ito and Milho on, on the left side, man. He was just crazy how uh, Nabi Keita was playing. Uh, Fabino did very well, man. He had an assist to that first goal. That really change to give liverpool the favor man and get kept liverpool in the game and uh push to beat them badly man so yeah fabina doing good man it's still fabina started out very poorly at liverpool and now he's one of the key midfielder that's how it is man it's football bro you gotta wait you gotta be patient in football bro. you gotta be patient man you can't just expect a player to come in and make a big impact man but patience with Nabikita and uh fabina bro has been paying off for liverpool oxley and chamberlain what i could say man match to match bro two great goal man it's two great goal for liverpool um Mane, great game by him man his pass and his dribbling always in attack always moving forward bro it was just a uh, beautiful uh for me no, bro Yo, yeah, he was doing the Ribano passes, bro. He was doing Ribano passes out there. This guy is just quality, bro. Quality, man. He was supposed to be what Giroud was supposed to be for Arsenal. That's what he was. He is, man. He was supposed to be what Giroud was supposed to be for Arsenal, bro. But, yo, Firmino, bro. Great player. Assist. Uh, I, um, oh, my God. I just knocked my mic off in excitement, bro. Please work. Please work. I think it's working. But, yeah, man. It is what it is um yeah man not really any play that really stand out for me man uh for um for jank man this guy came off the bench made a big impact lokumi um had a like a last man tackle um although i came off the bench picked up a yellow card and scored within minutes he, he's just crazy um and um and dongala came off the bench and that's his man but other than that controversial um no goal that that uh, that jeng scored bro jeng scored a header and they said it wasn't a goal bro i think that was very messed up i think it should have been a goal and that game would probably that would have been a big game changer in my opinion in, in favor of jeng man but it is what it is like subscribe follow me on facebook instagram with a lot a lot stat wise man you know i have to give the stats liverpool a better team with 74 percent ball possession while um while jeng had about 26 percent ball possession uh shots in total liverpool had 17 shots in total seven seven on target while uh while jank had eight shots in total and uh four on target i believe man but like subscribe man follow me on facebook instagram twitter let me know what team you support man jank or liverpool let me know anything about liverpool players performance with that you boys out of here